Baby, I'm live. What's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. I'm working here on some stuff, doing a video, doing a live video, uh, working on some, putting some some stuff on on some content, some content online, sharing some. Con I'm DJing content, DJing. Wicker, wicker, chicka, chicka. <laughs> I'm DJing content, uh, which is uh, one of the things that that really. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just one of the things that I do. It's one of the things that I do. It's one of the things you should do if you're doing this uh, more than a hobby. You know, if it's more than a hobby, if it's something that's like, man, I need to I need to grab the attention of the, the people, right? Then you need to figure out how you can... How you can uh, share some content, baby. Share some content. Don't be stingy with the content. Share some content. Share some content now. Do it now. Do it now. And that's how I do it. I, that's how I do it. I share content. Uh, a lot of it is my content. A lot of it is not. A lot of it is just content from someone else. What I mean by content is just stuff like, hey, you know, I found the quote here. I'm going to share this quote. Uh, I learned this from a mentor and man i see we, we have all these ideas that if it's not extremely unique i'm not going to share it uh we have all these all these stoppers all these suppressors you know if it's not real if it's not original if it's not tangible i can't share it if it's not mine if it didn't come from the gods i won't share it and that's just a you're just you're, you're shooting yourself on the foot very bad muy malo with uh with a very with a very uh bad attitude <laughs> you should be sharing anything you see you should be sharing anything you see if, if you see a painting that you really like that's on the met the metropolitan museum of art on their website baby share it it doesn't have to be yours what you're trying to do is you're trying to let people know that you exist which is what ay 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 dios mio por favor it means that <laughs> the number one problem that every artist has is that people don't see you numero uno the only problem you have is that people don't see you people don't know you exist if people know you exist they're not thinking about you you know a lot of people are like oh man i've been for example take me i've been an artist i've been a full-time artist okay paying paying my bills and, and doing my thing taking care of my family i've been a full-time artist for almost eight years now a lot of people know me but guess what if i'm not constantly showing up hey how's it going i'm here i'm here i'm here it doesn't matter that they know me they'll forget about me this is how the market works guys the only way for the market to work is that you have to consistently keep pumping if you don't keep pumping if you don't keep blowing air it, it's not gonna work it's just not it doesn't matter if people know you uh, one great example of this, think of any movie star from the 70s, 80s, or whatever. Why do they have to work so hard on making a comeback? On making a comeback. Why? The guy from Sherlock Holmes. Such a hard time making a comeback. Why? And many, many people, many people. It doesn't matter that they know you. If they're not constantly seeing you, it doesn't matter that they know you. They'll forget about you. It doesn't matter that you sold them a $50,000 painting a week ago. If today they don't see you, they're not even thinking about you. They're like, I, I, I got to go buy a Tesla now. I bought that painting. Now I got to buy the Tesla. Now they think about the Tesla. They're thinking about the fucking Tesla now. They're not thinking about your painting. You're nowhere near in their, in their ether. You're gone. This is, this is the number one problem that most artists do. We're like, oh man, I can't wait for... You know, people have bought from me. Your hustle game is too much. It's got to be, baby. It's got to be. There's no such thing as too much. There is no such thing as too much. If, if it's too much, that means you're not doing it enough. <laughs> if it's too much, you're not doing it enough. So that's how that worked, guys. Zelo Nan says true, true true that i know i know it's true I've, I've known this is true for a long time 
I know this is true. Look, there's no such thing as, oh, people heard about me already. I'm going to just... Uh, I, I heard this artist tell me this. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're listening, artist. I heard this artist tell me this the other day. Uh, actually, not the other day. A couple of months ago. He's like, he's like, I'll go and I'll market and then I'll, I'll let people rest from me, you know? <laughs> Do you cheapen your paintings by making so many? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to find out. You're going to have to find out the max wall. Uh, this artist told me, hey, look, uh, I market and then I let people rest. You know, I market and then I let people rest. And I'm like, dude, why, why do you let people rest? Why do you let people rest? He's like, oh, because, you know, they've, they've been listening. Uh, they've been listening to me for like three days in a row or like a week. And then I just kind of give them a rest and then I go back at it again. I'm like, that is the most random, weird thing I've ever heard. I didn't say nothing, of course. I was like, yeah, hey, you know, you do you. You do you. This is what I suggest to everybody, okay? Everybody that doesn't like the way I do things, you do you. You got to figure it out. I'm only sharing what I do. If it works for you, baby, go get it. If it doesn't, uh, you got to do you. You got to do. You got to find out your sweet spot. I've, I've noticed that when you don't do enough of anything, when you don't do enough, it doesn't work. It's like saying, I'm going to get biceps like the Terminator, you know? I'm going to do two biceps a day. I'm going to get, you know, Mr. Olympia type of body. Dude, it ain't going to work. You know it ain't going to work. It's like, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to put a painting on Facebook or on Instagram and see what happens. Or I'm going to become, I don't know, I'm going to go viral because the painting is so great. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? I'm the type of guy that's like, dude. I'll do a thousand paintings, okay? One of them, at least one of them is bound to work. At least one of them is bound to work. One of them is going gonna, is gonna to catch someone's attention. One of them is going to, by the way, I got people telling me, after a few years, I got people telling me, hey, how can I sell your work? Can I, can I sell your work? Can I reprint your work? Can I, it's called licensing, right? Can I do that for you? You know why? Because I got so much out there. I got so much content. That is how people... Start attracting to you. You're, you're building a fire. You're trying to build a bonfire. You're building this fire. And then people start going to you and be like, oh, man, I, I, I want to be part of this. This cat's doing something. You know, it might not be it might not be like how this other person's doing it. Or it might not be. I don't know. It's got to be something somewhere. It's got to be a lot of something somewhere. It might be that you make one painting a month, but you spend ten thousand dollars on ads. To make sure that that paint that painting gets gets thrown into the market, or it might be that you make a thousand paintings in a in a month and you throw in maybe ten thousand dollars of ads, and you know I don't know maybe you're local like me I don't know it might be something like that it might be different it doesn't matter what it is you still got to do the push-ups baby you still got to do the push-ups it's got to work you got to put in the work you got to put in the work and this is why I say look. If you're, if you're watching stuff online, like, I don't know, a video like this, maybe you're watching me on, later on, you're watching me on, on YouTube. If you're watching stuff like this and you're like, oh, that was nice, and then you click out of it and then you go do something else and you watch something, it, you, all you're really doing is consuming. You're just consuming. And, and if you can, it, this is something that I learned. I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to give you guys this little tip. This is something that I learned from a mentor. Energy success energy whatever you want to call it it flows baby if you consume it but you don't throw it back you ain't playing the game it's like playing it's like playing ball you know it's like playing ball if someone throws a ball at you and you don't throw it back you ain't playing you 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 got the ball and now you're trying to preserve the ball you're trying to keep it if you read something online and you're like oh man this is a great article baby pass it on play play ball pass it on don't keep the ball. You read the article. You enjoyed it. You liked it. Now share it with everyone you know and your friends. It does two great things. It ensures that you're playing the game. And the other one ensures that people remember you. Oh, this is the guy that passes, that passes the ball all the time. This is a great person. This guy's always sharing great content with me. 
Did he write it? It doesn't matter if he wrote it or not. It doesn't matter. What matters is that he's playing the game. You know, he's playing the game. He wrote this great article uh, from, I don't know, Entrepreneur Magazine or, or The Met or Guggen Guggenheim or whatever, you know, some gallery. And now he shares it on Facebook. He shares it on LinkedIn. He shares it on Instagram, whatever, you know, he's sharing this, this, this great content or great content. I mean, it's content. You just, you just happen to like it like a movie, right? Now you share it. Now you're playing the game, baby. You're playing the game. Now, before you know it, someone that may collect artwork shares something with you. And boom, you start creating connection. This is why artists are like, man, my shit's not being sold. Of course not. Dude. You're not playing the game. You got to play the game. You know, I, get, I, I share stuff with collectors. I didn't know they were collectors. I just share stuff. And then they share stuff with me. They're like, did you hear this about what Coons said? Oh, my God. You know, the latest news from, from Jeff Coons or Damien Hurst or, or, or someone punched a hole on a Monet painting. Did you hear about this? Oh, my God, I didn't know. And then I share. And then, and then their feed, right? Gets my stuff. Because that's how algorithms play, right? This is unintentional. This is just the way the world works. Now, now when I share something like, hey, buy my shit. Guess who's seeing it? Guess who's seeing it? The people that I and them interacted with. Now they see my stuff. They're like, oh, oh my God. Oh, dude, I like this painting. Where can I buy it? Oh, I wasn't really trying to sell it specifically to you. But because you and I engage, and you like it, and you want to buy it, cool. Here, here's where you can buy it, or here's a link, or maybe I share the painting with the link, or whatever, right? And, and this is how it happens, guys. This is one way that it happens. It's interaction. It's interaction. I was, I was, I was trying to get a firm to, to. I was, man, this dog. I swear to God, I was trying to get a a, a firm to work with. Uh, uh, Instagram, right? I was trying to get Instagram to work for me. Not Instagram, but, but someone who knows how to play Instagram. Uh, this company. And they told me, yeah, this is how it's going to happen. And they, they, they went A, B, and C. And now they have all their strategies and all that shit, right? I'm like, oh, that's cool, dude. Like, how much is this? Oh, well, this is going to be like 1200 bucks a month. Oh, my God. It's a lot of money. But, yeah, whatever. You know, let's make it work. So I'm, like, trying to figure out, you know, how to do this. And, and, and they're explaining to me what they're going to do. Not, not like they have their, their strategies and whatnot. But when I, heard, when I heard that the winning game is interaction, I chuckled. I was like, hey, you know? And, there, and then this person on the phone with me are like, like, oh, you have a net. Like, 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 why is it funny? You know, like we're just chatting. I was like, it's just funny because that's everything in life. Like you want, you, want, you, you, you want Terminator arms? Maybe it's interaction. Interact with those weights as much as you can. Interact with it. Interact with it. You know, you want, uh, you want to sell stuff? Interact with as many people as you can. And then you start finding out who's the buyer. And then you interact with as many of those people as you can. And, you know, but it's interaction. And I just thought it was funny. It's like, oh, my God, it, everything is the same way. Everything is pumping, baby. Everything in life is pumping. And I, I just thought it was interesting because I had no idea, like, like how they worked. I mean, I should have known this because... Uh, and in my life, I've noticed that everything, everything is interaction. Everything is like, poke, hey, how you doing? And then you move on and, hey, how you doing? And, and, and most people are like, you got to genuinely do it. So this is why people overthink it. They're like, oh, my God, am I doing it genuinely? Yes, you are, dude. You, you, you're doing it genuinely. You're doing it. If, even, if, even if you're being a butt about it, you're doing it genuinely. You're being a genuine butt about it. But you're doing it because you're doing it. You're doing it, you know. And then you figure out. And then you figure out. You figure out. How to, how, to, how to be more humble or how to be more whatever, you know, because you're growing as a human being. So the whole overthinking thing doesn't really work. Just do it. Like Nike said, Wally Boy 86 says, if I haven't sold paintings for thousands, I might consider a starving artist. Hell no. You're never a starving artist. Never use that word. I don't like that word. That word is muy malo. If you haven't sold paintings for thousands of dollars, and you, you, you're an artist, you create paintings. Uh, do you price paintings for thousands of dollars? That, that would be my question. If you price paintings for thousands of dollars, okay, and, and you're an artist, I mean, you've, been, you've invested your energy into it. Uh, there's, 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 there's really just one reason why you haven't sold paintings for thousands of dollars. One of them is that you're not pricing them at thousands of dollars. You're not pricing some of your work at thousands of dollars. And the other one 
if you already price it at thousands of dollars and you're not selling it, here's here's a little tip, okay? You're not showing it enough. You are not showing them enough. And what enough means will blow your mind. Enough doesn't mean three people, ten people, a hundred people on Facebook. Enough means a shitload of people. That's what enough means. Once you start finding out what a shitload of, of people mean, you're gonna start you're gonna start winning at it. It's not going to be easy, guys. It's not e- easy. It's not part of the game. It's simple, but it's not going to be easy. Okay. It becomes easy the more you play it. It feels, at least, it's not. It's never easy, but it feels easy because you're you're flying. You know, you're flying. You're doing another thing, and you're doing another thing, and so it feels. It feels pretty cool. It feels muy bueno. So I'll leave you guys with that. Um, I gotta get back to work. My name is Jose. Tru- My name is Slim Shady. <laughs> My name is Jose Trujillo, guys. I'm an artist. Uh, there's, there's, there's not one path. There's no one path to the kingdom. <laughs> there's many paths, guys. I'm not, I'm not teaching you mine. I'm sharing with you what has worked for me. There is not one path. There's many, many, many. You could be the you could be the gallery artist, you could be the the I don't know, the Instagram artist, you could be the YouTube artist. I know YouTube's rocking it. They're the YouTube artists. They they do a lot of YouTube videos and, and the blogs are really interactive and they're very entertaining and, and all that shit. You can be that artist and, and still rock it. Uh, you could be the the Facebook artist, and you could, or, or you could be a little local like me, and you could be the dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get everywhere. Artist, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do galleries. I'll, I'll do the whole studio thing like I have here. I'll do the big ass studio thing. Uh, I'll have, I'll have shows in my studio. Preparing that, I'm gonna have shows in my studio. Uh, I'll get online every, everywhere I can. I'll get online. You know, I'll get other people like cats. <laughs> like those cat videos, I'll get other people online. Uh, virtual assistants, virtual assistants, baby. Anything, it doesn't matter what it is. Your your hustle needs to be like it needs to be pumping. If it's not pumping, uh, good luck, good luck to you. If 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 you want to do it as a living, you know, if you or you're like, oh man, I, I can't wait to make to make some cake from this, then then your hustle really needs to pump. If it doesn't pump, years are going to go by and you're still going to be asking yourself, man, why is this not working? And you're going to start coming up with some very high end because uh, the mind is very intelligent. You're very intelligent. Everyone is. So you're going to start coming up with very high end excuses, right? Very high end. That we're going to be very fucking sophisticated as to why you haven't gotten your share yet. And the only reason why, guys, it's not because of those high end. Ex- See, you, you, you can't perceive yourself as I didn't do enough. You're, you're going to tell yourself, it couldn't be that I didn't do enough. It, it had to be something else. But, but I'm here to pull that nail off, out of your foot, okay? It's not something else. It's the amount of activities that you do. If you haven't done enough, if you haven't gotten good enough and done enough, that's the only reason, guys. That's the only reason. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to worry about being good enough. You'll be good enough. The more you do, the better you will get at it. You don't even have to worry about that part. So many of us, I mean, I, I've been a full-time artist for almost eight years now, and I still worry about that shit because it means you care, you know? Like, like I, I, care, I care. So I'm like, oh, did the brush stroke? You know, is, is my brush stroke off? You know, it's the consistency of the paint. And it, I get nervous, you know? I still do. When I'm going to paint, I still, oh, my God. I Because it means I care. But, but you have to push that aside. You have to be like, all right, dude. All right, cool. But you already know what you're doing. If you're still barking at that tree, it's okay that you still get a little, but, but move it aside. You can't stay there. Now you have to move into, hey, what about now getting this out into the marketplace? Because I, I, you, you, you are already good enough. If you're still barking at that tree, you're only sabotaging yourself. Okay, if you already learned to paint, people have bought your paintings, people like them. If you put something on YouTube, you painting and you have 100 likes and three or 10 people that are like, I don't like it. Dude, listen to the 90. 
Okay, don't listen to the three or ten that don't like it, and and and, and you'll be fine. Okay, I listen to those people and be like, oh, okay, well, most people like it. So most people like it. I'm, I'm good to go. You're good to go. Uh, this is a feeling that doesn't go away, but you have to learn how to, how to place it somewhere else. You have to learn how to place it. It won't go away. This feeling of not enough, I'm not good enough, doesn't really go away. It's, it's, it, it's borderline of I care and I'm scared. You don't want to disappoint. You don't want to disappoint yourself. You don't want to disappoint others. And so it's borderline of I care and, 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 and I'm not, you know, I don't want to disappoint. Uh, most artists say, if you feel that, it's because you care. It's true. It's because you care. But, but there is a point where, okay, you care. Now put it away. Uh, don't, uh, now don't be paranoid with it, you know. I'll tell you a little story. When I was, when I was, when I was younger, I, my family came from, from uh, ranchers. My, my mother, my father, the ranchers in Mexico. And, and uh, my mother passed away already, but my, my father still in his uh, late 80s. Uh, still kicking, <laughs> and, and uh, it was fashion, right? During his time, to carry a firearm. You know, that, that he was a charro, so he's a Mexican cowboy. So he was very fashionable, right? They used to carry firearms and whatnot. And I remember when I was a little kid, I used to look at my dad's firearm. I used to be like, "Oh my god, I can't wait one day I'm going to carry one too, like him." You know, I wanted to be like him. I wanted to be like my dad. But they were no longer in the ranch. It was just more of a. a uh, romanticism, right? The romantic idea. I used to see my dad with his big hats and 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 you know like his pictures on the cow on the on the horses and and big revolver on his on his waist and and he just looked like a badass and I, I was like I want to be like that. And I remember my mom having this 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 talk with me. She's like, look, my brothers carried, my father carried. That's what my mom told me, right? Uh, your dad carries. Uh, I don't want you to carry. I remember her telling me this. I don't ever want you. And I was a little kid. I was like 10 years old, right? I was like, I was like, why is that, mom? And she's like, look, the reason why, I remember her telling me this. The reason why is because the, there's a borderline between trying to be prepared and being paranoid. And most human beings don't, don't understand that borderline. Being scared and being prepared, they wash. They wash. They, the, the lines cross. And I remember her telling me, if you want peace, you, if you want, you, you want a happy life, you want peace, a peaceful life? I'm like, yeah. She was like, y you can't have a peaceful life with a revolver on your waist. It, it, they don't go together. And the reason why I'm telling you this, guys, this little story that you know, my mom told me when I was a kid, is because you, you can't, you can't, be like, oh my God, I can't wait to do this art thing. I can't wait to, to do this. If, if you're not willing to put in what it's required, you need to make sure that it goes together. You need to make sure that it goes together. You know, you can't be like, oh my God, I'm going to go and, and, and I'm going to become a, a, I don't know, a gallery artist and not realize what it actually entails, how much work you actually have, need to put in there, what, what's actually in there. You know, you, 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 it's, it's, it, it just doesn't work. You need, you need to, it, it really comes down to commitment. You know, it comes down to commitment. You need to understand what it actually takes. You need to understand what it takes. And most of us go into these things thinking that, you know what, if I, just, if I just make some paintings and I do them really well, things are just going to work. And the sad truth is that it doesn't work that way. It might work for someone. I don't know. But there's, there's over 7 billion people in, 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 this, in this thing we call Earth. And it doesn't work for most people, guys. It doesn't work for most people. Hold on. It doesn't work for most people. It, what I see over and over working for people is leaning on whatever they want. Like leaning on it. Once you start leaning on it, once you start pushing with everything you got, then things start happening by themselves. You start figuring it out. But, but again, it's one of those things, guys. You can't, you can't play the game if you're not passing the ball. You can't play the game. You can't play the game if you, if you, if you, if you, if you hold on to yourself. It just doesn't work that way. Okay? So you, you can't have both. Okay? You can't try to play the game and sit on the bleachers at the same time. 
Okay, it, it needs to go together. All right, so I'll leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and uh, I hope you guys have an awesome Monday. All right, peace. <laughs>